What's up, YouTube? Today we'll be talking about batch processing with Switch by NCH Software. If you're working on a project that requires a particular sample rate, bit depth, or an audio file format, then Switch is a quick and easy tool you can use to convert hundreds of audio files in seconds. As a disclaimer, I'm in no way getting paid by NCH Software to do this video. Switch has made my life easy, and I want to share that knowledge with you. So let's get to it. So now that we're in Switch, you can see that it's pretty simple. It's not very fancy looking or anything, but it's really easy to understand and to start working on immediately. So to add files to convert, go to the directory that the files are in and you can just drag them over. And you can see it's already adding the files. Another way to do it is by adding the files right here with this little button. Click here to add files on the top left, and then you can add the files from there. I found out that this is an easier way to add files because I've um, uploaded it from Finder before and it's missed a couple of files. This takes a little bit longer, but you know that all the audio files will get uploaded. So now that we have all the audio files in, you'll notice that there's a button here called encoder options. You see there's a settings tab where you can adjust the quality, you have encoding, um, commonly PCM will be used, but let's say if you're working with ALAW or MULAW, or ULAW as it's called, pretty much what all that is is an encoding that reduces the amount of data in an audio signal by quantizing low amplitude signals. So it makes files a lot smaller. ALAW is commonly used in Europe and, and MULAW is used in North American. You can select your channel. So let's say you have a stereo signal and you want to make the mono. This is an easy way to do that. And then you can change your sample rate. For this, I'm going to do 8K. And then you can also change your sample size. You see that 8 bits is only available on this, but if you go to PCM, you have different sample sizes available. So for this purpose, let's just go to 8 bits, add 8K. And then you select the place that you want to format them into. So I'm going to choose this folder right here and convert. And then now it's converting all the files, saving me a lot of time. I don't have to do it one by one. And done. Now let's say I want to convert a few audio files. I can select the ones that I want to convert and just convert those. A really cool option that you can do is when you're doing encoding, you can also incorporate metadata. So you can add a comment like, these are cool. Um, you can add your copyright information, encoded by, you can put your name here. The encoder, you can put the software, producer, you can put your name. Um, you can also do batch normalizing. So you can take all those audio files that you want to convert and you can normalize them to any settings you want. They have a bunch of cool presets. So you can give yourself 6 dB of headroom if you want that. Um, does click and pop reduction, noise reduction. It even has an equalizer. So you can go into the equalizer. You can select graphic and you can reduce frequencies maybe that you don't want. You can do a parametric. And of course you have your visual. Switch works with 32 audio formats. So let's say you're working with an odd audio format like dot opus. You can just drop them in. It reads it easily. And you can select an output that you do want to use. So if I want to convert it to MP3, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you can convert just like that. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope it helps you out. And if it did, please like the video. If you have any comments, you can leave them below. Let me know what odd file formats you found that Switch has or hasn't been able to convert. And feel free to subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.